Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Double RPG here, and welcome back to Double RPG Livestream, where we are going to actually play Mega Man 11 tonight on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, if you would have remembered that when I was well, after I completed Devil May Cry 1 and The Legend of Zelda, I did play a little bit of the Mega Man 11 demo, the demo version, and now I finally got my hands on this game in all of its colorful and beautiful glory. So, yes, we are going to be playing Mega Man 11 tonight, and we're going to be going all the way through the game and see how well it holds up and I know some of my friends online have been playing this game quite extensively and I really hope that a lot of people are going to be joining me tonight for when I go through this game as well but it's uh, all a matter of time before you know they uh, announce whether or not if they come in now hold on a second let me uh, take a look at something else here and let's see if I'm yeah I'm already on as it show plainly shows right now so let me just go on to my uh, channel so that way I'll uh, have mine set up right there and uh, looks like uh, everything is all set and ready to go so let's not waste any time and let's get on with Mega Man 11 shall we so oh never mind got to download the update first <laughs> so yeah you gotta love that every time when Something comes up, I have to download update data when I start a new game. But anyway, that didn't really take too long as I thought it was going to take. But let's not waste time and uh, get into the game and see uh, how it goes. So yeah, I got the uh, Nintendo Switch version. So uh, yeah, I got the one where I play, or where I got the Mega Man 11 amiibo of Mega Man. And I had to get that amiibo because it actually looked pretty cool. And truth be told, I was going to be doing an unboxing of this game when it uh, came out. I mean, it's uh, today when I was work, you know, when I was working on the video, but I kind of botched it because I didn't have any audio on my end. I strongly believe Albert's research must stop. <sighs> Light. We can't build the future on your empty optimism. Say what you will. I cannot agree to this. Please listen. No, you listen to this. At every turn, you've ignorantly blocked my research. Mr. Wiley, control yourself. I see the committee is in agreement. And so, the department chooses Thomas Light's research into robots with independent thought. Thank you, everyone. Why? Why are you fools so blind? One day, Light. One day the world will know I was right all along. Man. Quite the backstory between Dr. Light and Dr. Wily. Bad memories make the worst dreams. A genius of my caliber needs sleep to keep his brain in gear. Wait. That research from my youth. Yes. Now I'll show you, Light. <laughs> what a great, what an interesting way to start off this game with a little backstory and then it's taking us to the menu screen. Thank you for playing our demo. When you start a new game, you'll receive a special item. Oh, okay. I did try out the demo. But yeah, here we have the title screen. Looks like it's very authentic enough for a Mega Man game by all means. So hit that start button and uh, there are a plethora of options that we can choose from. There's the options mode where we can adjust everything from controls, brightness, audio, music. Uh, we could choose between original or instrumental if we wanted to. Uh, language, we can choose the display language as well as the voice language. Uh, rumble, we'll uh, keep the rumble on and see if we can. Uh, right stick, weapon select. Uh, yeah, we could do that if we want to as well. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, very interesting now how this game is set up. And the extras mode, uh, we have challenges, leaderboard, records, uh, gallery, and auto upload. Change your auto upload setting to scores and replays. Oh, okay. So this game does offer a, a record function on the Nintendo Switch. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, we're not going to bother in to any of these. We might bother those at an, in another live stream, but we'll just focus on the uh, new game right now. We're going to choose normal because that's pretty much how it is with every Mega Man game. It's like normal is going to be your cup of tea. Nope. There was literally no uh, there was literally no options mode uh, to where uh, you could choose a different difficulty, although Mega Man 10 did that, and that was kind of insulting that they covered up the uh, spikes 
in that game whereas in this game even if you play on newcomer you won't you will not be treated to that uh, insult if if you were to know what I'm talking about so yeah I wonder why nobody's watching I figured that you know with me announcing that I'm actually what you know that I'm doing this you figure that a lot of people would actually come watch me because it is a brand new game but then again I probably did not hype this up at all beforehand but uh, and let's see well, I guess I could be mistaken, but uh, yes, uh, let's not uh, let's not worry about the only uh, worry about any of the uh, things right here. But uh, would you like the special demo item? You will only receive this item one time, so go ahead and receive it. What is that special item? Well, we'll figure it out. The year is twenty X at the laboratory of Thomas Light, father of modern robot society. Many hard-working robots have arrived for their annual maintenance checkup. Hmm. All systems nominal. You're in great shape, Luck Man. All thanks to you, Doc. You built me rock solid! Well, I can hear the construction yard calling. Lock out! <laughs> Good luck out there. Roll, how many checkups are left? We just finished with Block Man. That leaves Torch Man, Acid Man, Impact Man, Bounce Man, Fuse Man, Tundra Man, and Blast Man. Just seven to go. Oh, brother, there's no end to him. Doc, how about giving your favorite assistant a break? I don't need a break, Otto. You know, for a robot, you sure do complain a lot. Now let's crank it up a gear. Oh, I ain't a machine. Yeah, but still. Mr. Torchman, please proceed to the... Uh-oh. What? What on earth? Roll, Otto, hurry to me. That noise, it can only be Dr. Wily. Yep, that... Splendid to see you again, Light. Wily. Doctor, what's going on? Stand back, everyone. I'll handle this. Mega Man! Hm, this is no time for your heroics. I've simply come to give Dr. Light a message. Then kindly be quick about it. Of course. You see, I recalled some old research. The very invention you so coldly crushed when we were students together. Or has your memory failed you? Our university days. A device. It can't be! Oh, but it can! Your objections wouldn't stifle me forever! I have perfected my design! And now we'll see who was right all along! Dr. Light, what's the ruckus? Hmm, perfect timing. The lot of you will make excellent test subjects. Oh no. Wow, who are you calling test subjects? Quickly, you must all run and hide! My robots over here, light. That speed. What have you done? Dang it! Nobody block, block, man. Let those robots go, Doctor Wily. <laughs> I have a better idea. At last, the world will bow down to the genius of Doctor Wily. <laughs> I say, I say that the voice acting's really good in this. Wiley's invention is called the Double Gear System. It's designed to push robots far beyond their normal strength and speed. If he really has completed it, I'm afraid you won't stand a chance. But we can't just let him get away. Mega Man. I can tell you won't be stopped very well. This is the prototype double gear system that Wiley developed back at Robot University. If I install this into your circuits, you may be able to stop him. But it's dangerous. Double gear places great strain on robot systems. Mm. I can take it, Doctor. I want to do this no matter the cost. Hook me up. 
installation will take some time. There's a lot of work to do. A few days later. Double gear system is fully installed. Mega Man, rise and shine. Mega Man, you're doing a noble thing. Be careful out there. Doctor, roll. Auto. I'll be back soon. At least with Ben Diskin voicing Mega Man in this game, he does make Mega Man sound like he, a man instead of, you know, a whiny little brat like he was portrayed in Mega Man 8. So, pretty much, Dr. Wily kidnaps uh, Dr. Light's robots again, which is which was a which was the case in the first game as well as the ninth game. So, this is the third time that Dr. Wily is doing all this crap. So, uh, but anyway, the new mechanic for this game, or the new gimmick, I should say, is the double gear system. So, we might as well go ahead and view an explanation on how it is. So, basically, what we do is we hit the ZR button to actually. Uh, activate the speed gear as well as the L button to activate the power gear. Uh, but uh, anyway, we can hit the ZR button if we want to actually uh, test it out. We might as well go ahead and give it a try. So, oh, we press R for power. And uh, make sure that you don't be in this mode for too long because it will cause you to uh, overheat and you will be susceptible to damage. And I can use Rush Coil at the whim of just the press of a button. Now that's awesome. And you could pretty much uh, slide like normal, like you would in the uh, previous game. Yeah, you do like a double charge shot. So basically, you won't be able to use the gear system when you're overheating like this. So just a little FYI for those of you who, you know, play this. So yeah, as I was saying about me trying to do an unboxing of the Mega Man 11 Amiibo Edition on the Nintendo Switch, I botched it because the microphone for my camera, I plugged in to the microphone jack. Uh, that I have for my camera, which, you know, you can actually hear my voice a bit more clearly with that camera. I forgot to hit the power button so that way you can actually hear me talking because when I, uh, when I imported the video from my, um, from my SD card, no, my a my SD a uh, extra capacity card into Adobe, uh, no, not Adobe Premiere, but, uh, uh, Vegas 16, there was no audio. There was no audio coming from the video from the video file, so I botched the unboxing video I was planning. So you won't be able to see an unboxing of me uh, for this game anytime soon, sadly. But anyways, we're all done with that. Uh, let's go ahead and try out the double gear technique. So what we do is we hit L and R to activate both gears at once. Your speed and power will get both get boosted. Once activated, there's no canceling it. And after it finishes, your Mega Buster will be weakened for a short time. Double gear just might save you in a pinch. But when you're low on life... But this only works when you're low on life energy. So if this is like something when you're going up against a boss or anything like that, then this is definitely going to be like your big insurance for this. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. But anyway, like I said, don't rely on it too much. So, there is a specific order, like with every Mega Man boss that you go through. And uh, we're just going to go in the order that I managed to find that was uh, that's very suitable for everyone. So, let's go to Blockman stage and try it out. You call yourself Dr. Wily's numbers, but... But specifically, you're Dr. Light's robots. So saying that you're Dr. Wily's numbers, that's kind of contradictory, don't you think, game? Oh. So I gotta be careful with that. But, uh, yeah, when I was playing this game, the demo for the first time, it actually was pretty cool from what I played. It feels like a traditional Mega Man game, and it definitely does give Mighty Number no. 9 a run for its money. Greatly.
And uh, just so you guys know, for those of you who are, uh, you know, oh, I got an achievement for doing that. But anyway, for the for those of you, if for for those of you guys who don't even know what my channel is about, if you are uh, new to this channel, what I do is I mostly live stream role playing games and all that other good stuff. But uh, I do tend to, uh, you know, switch some things up every now and then. Like, I play games like this, where they are side-scrolling action games, which I did for Super Castlevania 4 back on Monday night. And I'm doing the same for Mega Man 11, because, well, with Mega Man 11, that game came out and I decided to take a break from uh, October's Ghouls and Games uh, little side event. But don't worry, I will be returning to that uh, tomorrow night. I'll uh, probably be playing uh, probably Luigi's Mansion uh, if I wagered a guess, or I could be playing something else. Oh, gotcha. I'll go ahead and I'll get the screws. Just don't knock a screw loose. But anyway, if, if, if you're wondering if I'm playing with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, no, I'm not. Yeah, and this is probably a good spot where you would want to use the double gear system, but don't bother in case if you can't do it, because you really do need to watch out and save yourself from any oncoming obstacles like those. And I definitely got in a bad spot for that. Yeah, I can say bosses are pretty difficult. Gotcha. So, yeah, I managed to get that side boss. Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit until my uh, power is restored. Well, I wouldn't say power is restored, but until I can get the gear system activated again. But uh, I'm trying to take my time with going through this stage as uh, diligently as possible because I don't want to, you know, botch my attempts with playing this game by any means. Because when I was playing the demo, it wasn't really that uh, easy playing it on uh, normal difficulty. But if anything, I think we're doing okay. Okay. A gear system restore? Is that what you just gave me? If that is, then great. But probably not. Anyway, bounce up here. Get some more energy. But uh, from what I'm playing, the controls are very responsive and very intuitive, and it feels great. Oh. Yep, there's nothing right there, so I kind of just wasted that opportunity wondering if there was something that was in there, but unfortunately there wasn't. Ah, come on! I could have used some energy right there, but unfortunately I did not even get any. So I'm going to have to be careful going through here because I don't want to die from these blocks that are falling from the sky. But, but if anything, I'm going to need to get some health. Bad, because I'm in desperate need of some right now. Instead, they're giving me uh, weapons and weapon capsules, which I don't need. I need energy. I just need plain energy, not bolts, not any of the other jargon. Just uh, plain energy capsules. And you are not going to give me any energy capsules, are you? Come on. There we go. I hope there's a checkpoint coming up pretty soon. Ooh! Where is... Where is... Oh! No! I miscalculated. Dang. Stingy on the extra lives, don't you think? Okay, I'm going to need to be a bit more careful here. Not really usually bad at Mega Man games. Ah, 
Oh, Jesus. Come on! Thank you. I probably should have been using that double gear or whatever. But I will need to, uh... I'll need a haul butt if I'm gonna get out of this section. Because... Wait! Jeez. Here I thought I was gonna get out of that alive. <laughs> or I wasn't gonna get out of that alive. But I managed to be safe from the skin of my teeth. No! Dang it! Ah, oh, man. Don't be mean to me like this game. You're better than that. Ah! There we go. Go ahead and try this again. And there's nothing up there. You figure that there would be something up there, but that's a total waste. A total time waster. Come on. Get your butt in gear. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus! Come on, let's continue. Do I have to start back at the beginning of the stage? Please don't tell me I have to. Oh! Dang it! Just jump over you. I don't need to fight every year or try to take down every enemy I see. I can if I want to, but still. I mean, that's the beauty of Mega Man in general. Okay. But still! Why did that happen? I thought I got everything. Jerk. I'll go ahead and I'll take this. There we go. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to need to be a little bit more careful when fighting off against these monstrosities. I don't need that weapon kit. Well, actually, you know what? I might as well go ahead and take it. So that way we keep Rush filled up to the, to the max. Ah. Jerk. Jerk move. You know, game, I could use some more energy. Or, you know, I could use you giving me some energy so that way I stay in top tier condition. But you're not going to do that, are you? I won't be complacent with the, uh, the weapon energy. Well, I wouldn't say weapon energy, but just the energy in general. I mean, the weapon gear energy. There we go. Hey, that was... that was much better. Okay, now we got the checkpoint. So, if you're asking... Me, so, if you ask me if we were possibly going to get through this whole game tonight, then yes, we are. Although it saddens me that, you know, I wish there would be some people watching me tonight. Because I figured that a lot of people would want to watch me play Mega Man 2. I mean, Mega Man 11. Hello there, Flame Chocobo. Welcome to the stream. I guess I spoke too soon. But, hey, yeah, de de definitely thank you very much for coming on to the stream there, Flame Chocobo. You're the first person I noticed who jumped on for tonight. Ooh, bad. 
But uh, yeah, if you're in for some classic Mega Man side-scrolling goodness, you've come to the right place. Okay, good. Oh, come on! Oh, oh dang it! I hate that! Uh, so you've been playing some Castlevania 64? Oh, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you right now. Dang it, I hate that. Ugh. Don't mind me. It's just... I'm a little... gut-wrenched at the fact that those, uh... that that movable platform thingy wants to give me such a... dainty little time. But, uh, if... Uh, when, it, when it comes to Castlevania 64, I would say that Legacy of Darkness is a much better game in my eyes. It's more polished. Ugh. Anyway, try this again with style. So basically... So basically, I have to keep myself moving when I'm in this phase, or else I'm not going to be able to get through. Come on, can we get through? Oh, come on, game! Okay, here we go. Seriously, what caused it to stay on that long? I don't know. But, uh... Let's get back to where we were. And bypass you, so that way I don't have to deal with you anymore. You see, you figured that this place would be a great for a checkpoint, but it's not a checkpoint. Yeah, checkpoint... I guess they only give you uh, sporadic checkpoints when you, uh... When you're, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? When you're playing on the easier difficulty settings? But you don't want to be staying at one spot too long because of all those stupid robots that are just coming out of nowhere. And also watch out for the blocks. Don't, uh, don't try to be a hero and do what I did. Okay, here we go. Now, let's, uh, let's continue where we left off. Hey, cool, I got two in one shot. And wait for them to bypass. I, how did I miss both of them? There we go. Now wait for you, wait for you. And now we can go this way. And we have to fight this again, but uh, what? Uh, it's gonna give us a bit more of a handicap because, well, this. <laughs> so I guess we gotta keep moving to make sure that we don't stay in one spot for too long. But yeah, it's just, that is so jerkish. Okay, but uh, anyway, we got it. Uh, it's... Oh, wait a minute. You said, uh, it's hard for the wrong reasons. I will keep on playing it, namely this Saturday. Okay, well, that's cool. Oh, it took off with my 1-Up, that jerk. I didn't even charge up fast enough, but it's okay. Okay, now I'm gonna need to watch that. Yeah, okay, never mind. There was no, there was no point in watching. I made perfect timing to uh, hit it at the correct spot. But are we getting any close to the end of the stage? I figure that this would be a good spot where the stage should come to an end. Oh, we gotta do more of this crap. Yes, we do. Welcome to how my life is not simple. Ugh, God. Now, now that is a gut wrencher right there. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do for this part. Okay, w watch for you. And, yes, I need that. The E-Tank. And is the, uh... Still? It's not... Man, I figured that we would already be at the boss's lair by now. But, nope. But I might as well go ahead and use Rush! Oh! I said use Rush to do the right thing. I could have gone for that weapon energy. Oh, come on! Ugh! Game! Stop it! And quit spewing out these jerks. 
Okay, try it again. What? Oh, you did not do that game. Mmm. Man, stages are a bit too long. Ouch. Now I have to go... Now you're telling me I have to go through that crap again? With this? Yep. There we go, guys. More of these shenanigans. Oh, God. Ugh. Thank you. But at least I got an E-Tank for that matter, so I guess I can't complain too much. But now I have to deal with this hoopla again. Oh, God. Bad spot for these blocks to drop. Should call this knock a block a tower. Really? There's more of this crap? I mean, I like Mega Man, but uh, but honestly, I think the levels are going on just a tad bit too long for my taste. I mean, not not that there's wrong with how long a level is, but. They really shouldn't be this excruciatingly just, you know, expanded upon like that. What? I got you. Game. Oh, come on. Thank you. Do not make me waste my E-Tank yet. Oh. What a jerk. Okay, there's the door to the uh, Wily's number boss. Yep, and it's pretty much the same as usual. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to be very, very careful with this part. So, yeah, this is Block Man. Oh, God. So, yeah, this boss is uh, pretty easy. So, it recharges itself to become this big boy. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to keep grinding on higher levels of monsters and octopus, as well as walk around with higher level areas to collect some money. Okay, cool. Please tell me I'm at before the boss. Are you kidding me? I had to do that crap all over again? Ugh. Like I said, stages may be a tad, tad bit too long from what I'm experiencing. Uh, yeah, it's not being very nice to me right now. <laughs> uh, it, it, I probably should have played on casual, but uh, I'm not... Uh, but I, I want to try to get my skills in at least and see if I could actually do well tonight. But uh, at least I got through most of the hard parts, so hopefully, uh, you know, going through the rest of the through the rest of the level won't be that much of a problem, but then again, things can be easier... are easier said than done at times, so... You think you would adapt to checkpoints fr from the PlayStation Mega Man games, but nope, nope. So, yeah, this game is not... this game is cruel in, in that regard. But it's okay, I guess, you know, in a sense, this does give me good practice. And here I thought I was, I'm going to, you know, get through the entire game all by myself tonight. But unfortunately, seeing as how well I'm playing, I don't think that's going to be the case. <laughs> but we'll see. All right. Now back for this, Chuckles. Or Chumley. 
I was out of the way there. Oh, dang it. I'm not even watching. All right, gotcha. But uh, would have been nice if you dropped some energy. Nope, doesn't do that. The harder they fall, yeah, they do fall hard, don't they? How could you take a hit from that thing? Thank you. Oh, good, I will gladly take that, though. At least the game is offering me some mercy to an extent. Now, I guess uh, the only way to get past this part without, you know, getting too close to uh, those things is to just, you know, jump at the perfect time so that way you don't get hit by the platform. I mean the platforms and as well as the uh, grinder. No! No! Dang it! Stupid game! Mmm. Thank you. There we go. Get your butt in gear and get moving, please. You're gonna have to do that crap. No, you're not. Okay, I thought you were gonna have to. Ugh. Screw. Screw you. Probably should have done that at the first place. I don't care if I take uh, damage from the Mets. I just want to get past the stage. Oh, bad spot for those things to be at. Okay, never mind. I think everything's all right. And I'm sorry if you hear any barking. It's just my dog barking. It's a common occurrence, and I do apologize. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh man, that was close. I didn't think I was going to make that. Why do you got to take damage from this guy? Oh. Thank you. But you don't get a checkpoint for that, do you? Oh, you do. Stupid thing. That thing stole my extra life helmet. This is why I prefer cats over dogs. Wait, what? And hello there. Uh, hello there, uh, Vic. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me on my live stream. And uh, thanks for uh, giving the auto promo to my live streams that are on your... Uh, your Skype channel. Oh, hey, I got me an extra life, so I will gladly take that. So this game does offer me some mercy somewhat, but I don't want to jinx myself too much. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. No! No, 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 no! God! Why did I slide again?! Ugh, dang it! I hate that when that happens! Ugh, man. Frustration. 
Yep, there's going to be hype and rage when it comes to this game. Just going to say that loud and clear. There is bound to be some frustration that is bound to be coming into play. You know, I could use an extra life right about now, like how the uh, one enemy gave me that extra life after I defeated it. Ugh. Thank you. And we still have that E-Tank on us? I honestly thought we didn't. But, I guess we do. Now to avoid this, the shenanigans again. Ugh. Oh my god! That was close. But, uh, we made it. Okay. Taking my time with this. So that way I don't, you know, get hurt. Although I will continue to get hurt the more enemies I come across. There's just no avoiding that, is there? That's just the curse of live streaming in general. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Ah, oh, dang it. I wanted that life energy before the boss fight, but that's not going to happen. But anyway, here we are at the boss. Yep, that's the live stream curse. You are absolutely right there, Flame Chocobo. Okay, wait for uh, the gear system to get back active, and then we will try again. Okay. All right, Blockman. Try it again, even though Wily hypnotized you. Okay, so when he gets half half hit points, then that's when he reverts to this form. Oh, bad spot. Bad spot. Bad spot. Bad spot. I probably should be using my E-Tank of anything, but, you know, me playing this game blind, blind, I really don't know what to expect. Thanks for hitting me twice there, Chuckles. Okay. Try this again. Oh, Jesus. Bad spot. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. Don't save. We'll just... Start with another difficulty. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. I don't care. No. 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 Okay, let's try it again. Uh, I didn't want to capture that, but okay. <laughs> Hopefully this is much better. Okay, five lives. I will gladly take five lives over this. But still, that just drives me nuts. At least I'm no newcomer. I guess my Mega Man skills are a little rusty. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, I think this is coming off a little bit better for me. I, I guess normal does equate to normal mode, so I better be safe and play at this mode. And look how my health is de uh, deteriorating gradually instead of just constantly. Oh, I guess there is a better use for the checkpoint system in this mode. I mean, I guess if they had to equate something of the uh, difficulty mode in this game to another game that they worked on within this decade, then I would say this is pretty much similar to that of uh, DuckTales Remastered on the Wii U, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. With the whole live system based on the uh, difficulty you choose for your playthrough. I'm guessing that's how it is. Okay. Here we go. I guess we got a pattern down with where we want to strike. Yeah, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Didn't take any damage from that boss fight. Or that mini boss fight. I guess that's what we shall call it. Yeah, this is probably the mode I should have picked at first, but uh, it's okay. I guess you could say with this mode, we'll definitely be able to get through the whole game entirely. But I will be attempting normal mode at another time, but just... It seemed like that was not the mode I wanted to choose for this uh, play session. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Bypass that. And bypass you, since you are annoying. Okay. Here we go. And we got ourselves another checkpoint. Yeah, this is much better with how the checkpoints are placed here. And I suppose if you played on the veteran difficulty, then the checkpoints would be none, like, until you get to right where the boss is. Or just none in general. Okay. As you can see, I'm just clearly taking my time with this, because I don't want to make that same mistake twice with how this game wants to be that much of a jerk to me. But... Oh, I didn't want to activate Rush, but okay. <laughs> okay, I got another checkpoint right there. Oh! Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We already hit this checkpoint, but still, that was my fault. Yep, that was definitely my fault. Oh, man. Okay. Oh! Good thing I made it to the uh, far corner there. Okay, now try it again. Okay. Now get over here. Now, no, that's not how I w wanted you to do it, but that's okay. All right, got it. Okay, yeah, this is much better. Oh, yes, give that back to me. Thank you. All right. So today was pretty much uh, pretty much a slacking day for me after I got off work during the midnight hours and didn't really get a whole lot done with trying to capture more footage of Final Fantasy Tactics A2. Although I was, like I said, I was trying to do that whole thing where I wanted to do an unboxing of the Mega Man 11 Amiibo Edition, but unfortunately because of my own hubris, that did not happen. But accidents happen from time to time, so I'm not really going to blame myself for that too much. 
Okay. Oh, that was too early. Okay, now I'll go ahead and I'll gladly take that. Ooh, close. Ooh. They never really judge the distance too well, the blocks that fall on you. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Yes! We're almost, uh, we're almost to the end here, guys. We are just about to make it. Yeah, this is pretty much my hype and rage coming from, uh, you know, my live stream session when I was playing Super Castlevania 4, uh, those couple days ago. Finally take those bolts. Finally destroy you. Oh, I don't even need it. They designed that one thing to be a trap, anyways. Okay, now, let's go ahead and uh, beat Blockman in style this time. In good style. What am I doing here? Gonna defeat you. Yeah, I guess he doesn't take any more damage once he hits half of his health already depleted. Oh, God. So unpredictable at times. Ooh. That's kind of a bad spot for that guy to be in, just saying. Okay, got him. Now, Blockman, you are going to be down for the count. Gotcha. One down, seven to go. All right, finally. It's about time, too, that I managed to get through that boss. Nice little Mega Man jingle that plays right there. All right, we got our first robot power-up, which I think is the, uh, the block something. What block is it? Oh, this little thing, it definitely reminds me of Mega Man X, when you obtain a Maverick's power-up. You got the block dropper, okay. And, uh, we can even try it, if we want to, but, uh... Oh, cool, and they even give some special effects for when you're in the double gear system mode. Now that's awesome. Alright, Block Man is done, and now it's time to take on Mr. Acid Man. Now, all the, uh, Robot Masters are all men, too, so... Still, we have not seen another Robot Master that is female, because the only one we saw was Splash Woman, of course. Anyway, Acid Laboratory. I, I do like the aesthetics of this lab, of how it's uh, represented. Looks pretty authentic for a lab, if you ask me. But whatever you do... Don't step in the acid pool for too long, or else if you want to get hurt. Oh, God. But yeah, I do like the look of this. Oh, another classic Mega Man enemy returns. This thing. There we go. And we got little spiders, too. And then we just go down this hole. And, of course, the infamy of water. Now... If memory serves me correctly, you don't swim in this game. You could swim, 
but that was only in Mega Man 8. The only Mega Man game where you could swim, too, believe it or not. But, of course, with water, there is water physics to be had. Oh. Close encounters up the wazoo there, but, uh, thank you. And, of course, another classic A Mega Man enemy has returned. The return of Sniper Joe. I gotta say that the character designs of all the enemies in uh, Mega Man, they look really awesome. And I like it. Better than better better you than me. I like some of the uh, I like some of the achievements that you're getting in this stage. Like like if they're not that authentic enough. Hey. Jerk. Thank you. At least you don't get hurt by the acid right away. I guess it has to be green in order for it to work. In order for you to take damage. And I didn't even know you could do that to Sniper Joe. You just shoot him with the charge shot and then he kind of gets stunned back. And then you could try to get in an extra hit of damage on him. Now, I like those little nuances that this game tries to go for. With trying to modernize Mega Man for this day and age. Some people might think it's a detriment or a curse. But honestly, I think it only is beneficial in that instead. There are met bombs. Or enemy bombs, rather. Oh, God. Now I want to try to grab this. Yes. I need all the extra lives I can get. But, uh, yeah, it's just quite the, uh, quite the, uh, game I'm going through. No, that was my fault. But at least there was a checkpoint there. I can't believe I did that. At least I don't get hit by the pool of acid. Or there's no pool of acid. You figured there would be. Oh, boss time. Oh, mini boss. I guess they're only going to attack. Oh, boy. Look at this. Look at this. What is this, an oversized vacuum? You figure it would be. But uh, it's still a very interesting sub-boss. Or mini-boss. Whatever a boss it is. It could be a boss. We'll just call it Big Boss. I know. Obligatory Metal Gear reference. But how could I resist? Uh, is this thing about dead yet? Oh, thank you. I was wondering when that thing was going to be dead. Big Daddy Boss. <laughs> it could be. You never know. There, Flame Chocobo. Oh, boy. Now we got a bunch of this crap we got to contend with. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, that wasn't too much. Could have been worse. But, oh, God. Looks like P that, you know, attacking us or that's dropping from there. Yep, there's the acid. It's in full potency right now. Oh, would you go away? Seriously. So, yeah, don't jump in that acid water. That's bad. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. So, if any of them turn the pool into acid, you might as well just stay up while you can.
Uh. Oh. There we go. Sniper Joe. I do like how Sniper Joe looks. I think I made that perfectly and abundantly clear. Oh, dang it. Stupid physics when the water's pulling you back. Okay. Oh. Oh, God. What? Dang it. Gosh, that is so, so evil. Oh, man. That's so evil with how that's placed. Ugh, man, yeah, that that is so bad. That That's some bad placement in the level. It's like you gotta time that right. Oh, God. God forbid. Okay. See if I can actually get up here and... Uh, why? 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 Mm. Or I probably should be using the double gear system. There we go. Now that's what I want to see. Now I guess that's what they intended me to do. Oh, God. But we should be getting closer to the end, hopefully. To the end of the stage. Oh, and the water physics, they actually do take effect in this part. I do like how the polarity changes from time to time when it comes to the water. Are you kidding me? And look at me losing these lives because of stupid decisions that the designers decided to make. <laughs> Although I'm not going to be able to get that. Oh god, that was close. But please tell me we're at least out of the woodworks. Nope. I didn't think so. Ugh, man. Gut and gut wrenching. Gut wrenching to the max. Ugh. Okay. At least tell me that we're at least where Ass Man is, or getting close to where he is. Yes, I thought so. About time, too. And hopefully he's not that big of a joke. No. Uh, let's get, uh... Let's get Blockman's weapon. And pummel this guy greatly. Man. Got you, finally. Man, he, he did pose a little bit of a threat there. <laughs> but yes, Acid Man down, and the next one is Impact Man. They really should be having the whole uh, Mega Man X uh, power-up get uh, theme go on right here. This actually would have been perfect for that. Acid Barrier. And I heard that Acid Barrier is actually a pretty good weapon to use. 
for when you're going through uh, stages with very tight pinches. And I hopefully that'll be the uh, be our best bet when we go to Impact Man stage next. I gotta, and I also gotta say the robots they actually do look a lot better, and they're distinctly uh, all different from one another. They're not really all very similar to each other, like how Inafune made them almost look practically identical. Almost, but not fully. But we're getting, looks like we're getting some classic vibes coming from this stage, because I'm definitely getting a classic Gutsman vibe coming from uh, Impact Man stage. Oh, God. I'll go ahead and I'll take that. Why is my dog growling? <laughs> he must be tired. Oh, I really thought that that was actually... <laughs> I really thought that that was actually a place where you could go down. But nope, it just leads to death. Holy moly, indeed. I bet you heard a lot of growling right there. It's like, oh boy, now that's scary. Ugh. Okay, now, Double R, let's make a priority to actually get things straightened out with going this way and not going down and being a complete fool and thinking that when you go down, it'll actually lead you somewhere. That was my big, that was my hubris in that uh, instance. Okay. At least we're not getting interruptions by any of your comrades. And I like it how, you know, Capcom just went back to keeping things traditional with how you uh, go through a stage. Ugh. And, and not having anybody, you know, interrupt your gameplay because, seriously, who thought of, whose smart idea was it to make it to where Alia would always interrupt you in Mega Man X5? Oh yeah, that's right, it's Inafune's fault. Like, Mega Man X5, the first game to start holding your hand. I mean, it had some good things going on for it. Like, uh... Oh, these spikes, they definitely remind me of the drill spikes in, uh... In, uh, Mega Man 2 in, uh, Metal Man's... Yeah, Metal Man stage. Very, very similar to that. Ouch. That is hot. You stand on top of the ladders. I still like that. Makes you feel like you are uh, going somewhere. Ooh, bad, 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 bad. Grab it. Oh, I hate those missiles. Those missile bots. N those missile cones, let's put it that way. Funny how they're just call how they are just missile cones, but I do like the fact that you can just hit the X button to call Rush to help you out. That that uh, that is beneficial. I definitely think it only adds more to the uh, whole gameplay experience with how you can just call Rush with just only the press of a button. Ouch. I uh, might as well go ahead and grab that while I'm at it. Just when you think you could, you know, wall dash into that, but you can't. And I'll wall dash, I mean slide. Ouch. Yeah, this is where this is a good spot where using that uh, ability is going to help you out greatly. The uh, Thing that slows down time, the double gear. Really? Is that the boss's lair already? If that's the boss's lair, then my god. Awesome.
Nope. I didn't even think that was gonna be it. Out. Wasn't aware that's what you were gonna do. I guess you do have to stay in this one spot for the the digger claw to get out of your way here. But even that's not gonna always work. Double R, pay attention, please. Man, how many more hits does this guy take? Ouch. Oh, thank you. No extra health? I've been gypped. But at least that's a checkpoint. And if anything, I'm probably gonna have to use my energy capsule. <laughs> Possibly. Ouch. Not cool. Not cool, man. Not... Not cool. Give me that. I need more health. You may not think I need more health, but I do. Oh, you. You tease. That's not a good spot to be in, to be act. I mean, to be quite honest with all of you. Oh. Get that gear. What? No. I'm pretty sure that's starting me back at the beginning of the stage. Even on casual, it does. Great. Two robot masters down. <laughs> and already lost my first life on casual playthrough. Man. My time with Mega Man is really being rusty, guys. I'll just go that way. I'm not going to bother with anything else. Just get this level moving along here. Oh, well, at least we bypassed that. Oh, come on! I don't appreciate your uh, shenanigans game. What? Okay. Sorry if nothing really comes to my mind right now. It's just, I really don't know what to say. It's just me uh, going through this as like a blind first time playthrough. Seeing as how, you know, I am really that big into Mega Man, but really haven't even played that much of Mega Man 11. It kind of really makes it hard to, you know, say what they're, what you want to say. No, I'm not gonna get hit. Don't even try, game. Don't even think about it. Ouch. 
Ouch. Ouch. Ah, uh, thank you, game, for being a jerk. Oh, Jesus. Okay. It's like there was really nothing interesting that went on today where, you know, I can just blatantly just talk about it in great detail, but no, nothing like that. Just same how it is. Every single day of my life. Work, work, work. <laughs> but I don't have to work tomorrow, so hopefully I will be able to get some more done with my uh, Final Fantasy retrospective capturing Final Fantasy Tactics A2. But I can only hope. Uh, for those of you who have not subscribed to me yet, or not uh, followed me yet, be sure you hit that follow button right below the, or right above the video player, so that way you're notified whenever I go live with my live streams. And tomorrow night, I will be returning back to my October-themed Halloween play sessions called Ghouls and Games. And I'm probably going to be playing Leon's Campaign in Resident Evil 2 tomorrow night. And probably do... Uh, probably return to Castlevania Symphony of the Night on Monday, because I will be returning to Trails of Cold Steel. I will be returning to Trails of Cold Steel 2 uh, for the weekend. Which ought to be a lot of fun, too. Ugh. Oh, come on. There we go. Trying to judge the distance for, you know, hurting this guy is really not that easy. There we go. Got it. Looks like I had to use that double charge shot or that, uh, that double gear system to actually take down that sub-boss. But yeah, this is the last part where we uh, left off at, because we were actually having to deal with these shenanigans. Not the Mets, the, uh, the Met workers. They're Met workers, but we might as well say that they hail from MetLife Insurance Company. If I had to wager a guess. Oh, God. That would have been uh, painful for me. No! Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Ugh. Man, I hate those guys. Thank you. Get out of my face. Come on! Oh, God. I'm getting really sick and tired of this guy. Thank you. No. Nope. I'm not going to deal with it. So, get out. Go ahead and grab our... Rewards. Honestly, I probably should stop at uh, Dr. Wiley, uh, you know, Dr. Wiley, I mean, Dr. Kane's, uh, I mean, not Dr. Kane, Dr. Light's lab, pardon me, and actually get some uh, power ups. Um, by power ups, I mean like extra E tanks and that kind of stuff. Are you kidding me? I could have totally made that. Oh, would you quit hitting me? Gosh, I hate these enemies with a flaming passion. Ugh. 
Ugh. I'm not... You know what? I'm just gonna say, screw it. Let's just go forward. Why is everything so... So rumbling in this section? Oh, of course! More death insurance, basically, from these guys. Not... I'm really not liking the placement on how they are uh, coming about. No, God! Uh, I guess we're just gonna have to be slow and taking our time to avoid these guys if we can, but it's not working! Oh, that's where we want to be. So basically, we need to be at a specific spot so that way they don't even try to hit us. But considering how these guys are placed, I'm gonna wager that's not going to be simple. Rush. Oh, dang it! I'm in a bad spot. Are you kidding me? I'm about to say screw the A-Tank and I'm just gonna go forward. No! Not there! Rush. On the platform. No! Thank you. That's where I want to be. And get down here. Jump. And go up. Are we about to get anywhere near where the boss is? I hope so, because I'm kind of getting tired of being in this stage. <sighs> Are we even a cinch close? Really? They're going to do that? Game, that's lousy. Oh, that's okay. So, uh, no, we don't want that. We actually want, uh, Acid Man's weapon, because that's what we're gonna be using against, uh, Impact Man. In this stage. Impact Man is a uh, weak against Acid. Really? God! Go ahead and use that, since uh, we pretty much wasted the acid barrier. With that kind of proclamation that he's making, it kind of reminds me of Raccoon from Dragon Ball Z. It's like, Raccoon kick all the time. But anyway, enough of that, boss. So yeah, it looks like as things are setting, guys, I don't know if we're going to be able to get through all of this game in the first playthrough. I honestly thought we were, but unfortunately, that's not the case. So we'll go through one more stage, and then we will uh, call it a night after that. Okay, so... We got the pile driver, so Bounce Man is our next uh, robot master who we want to go up against. And pile driver, it's pretty much like a dash with the uh, well, with the uh, drill or whatever, kind of like what Impact Man does. Anyway, 
Bounce Man. Looks like a big, huge uh, robot, uh, bouncy ball robot master. <laughs> kind of an interesting choice for a robot master type of uh, character design. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to be dealing with uh, bouncing balloons or bouncing balls when going up the stage. So basically, if you hold down the B button when you're playing on the Nintendo Switch, uh, or if you're playing it on the Xbox One, then it's the A button. But if you're also playing it on the... Uh, how are you... Am I supposed... How am I supposed to get over there? No, it's not it. Oh, I guess that's one way to do it. Oh, I get it. You have to go all the way up. Oh, very clever. Very clever there, game. I didn't know that you were that clever. I thought you, I thought you were just going to be mean to me throughout the whole time. But yeah, this game... I mean, this game's... Uh, Puzzles, they actually are pretty clever at times. Uh, can I? Okay, let him slap you. I think this is how it wants you to. Yeah, there we go. Very interesting. How the, how the whole, uh, you know, physics of the stage goes. I, if I have to rate this stage, I'd probably say that this stage is probably one of my favorites so far. Just how it is. It's like you're in a big, huge, like, kid bounce house or whatever. Like, a huge bounce house or one of those uh, things from when you go to, like, a restaurant. You know, like a Burger King. Get over there. Can we uh, bounce on that? No, we can't. Ball Lux. And here I thought we could. Because I wanted... Oh! Oh, we could have totally got that. Thank you. I knew I wasn't crazy. Okay, so, and McDonald's, yeah, I know. It's very similar to that, but uh, hey, it's, I, I actually kind of like it. Kind of makes me feel like a kid when you're going through this stage. Okay, now we can go through the rest of the stage, or the rest of this area just fine without any problems. But yeah, like I said... If anything, I'd probably say that this is definitely one of the more, uh... Definitely one of the more enjoyable stages in this game. Just everything that it goes for. The, uh... The theme, the bouncing, the mechanics... Just everything. It's just brims with so much, uh, originality. It's always fun to bounce on stuff. Uh, bad spot. Oh, I get what this uh, stage is trying to tell me. So, I want to get over here before the slap hands get to me. Uh, this game's got some neat ideas what it's going for. Oh, bad spot. And here I... At least I got it, but when I go back up, it's still gonna be, it's gonna respawn. I think. Nope. It's a bye-bye. Okay, oh. Man, one of the more hard parts in this stage. And I assume that this is uh, where the uh, mid-boss is for this stage? I think so. 
Yeah, there we go. Woo! Yep. Frogman. The Frogman. Bouncy Frog. Bouncy Carotan. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Oh, nice. So, pretty much, we're gonna have to uh, try and get away from... Oh, bad, bad, bad. But, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. So basically what you want to do is make sure you get the uh, operator out of that. Out of the uh, frog suit. And then try to defeat him as fast as you can. Alright, you got him. Now he's out of there and you can move forward. Nice. What are those balloons doing here? Oh, bad. Bad spot. And that enemy's gonna try and stop me when I go forward. Ooh. I guess those things only appear one time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess those things only appear one time. As they won't stop you a second time. Well, I could be mistaken, but I don't. Looks like they only just come up once from what I'm uh, viewing here. Oh God. Oh, dang it. No. Stay down. There we go. Like I said, the mechanics in this stage are actually... actually very intuitive with how the bounce physics play a big role in this. I can't, I can't wait till we get to the boss and see how Bounce Man actually plays. If anything, it's probably not going to be pretty. So, okay, so those, so those fake bouncing balls actually hurt you. So, whatever you do, don't touch them. Okay, now we can go ahead and get through this section without any, any more hindrances, and uh, I will gladly uh, take that E-Tank if I can. Uh, if I can. <laughs> oh, come on, are you serious, game? Oh, come on! Are you serious? Come on! Man. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, good. Oh, come on! Are you serious? And you can't call Rush during this part. There's no way that he come out when the balls are bouncy like that. But even if he could, then I have to say... That's a pretty physics ri- I mean, come on, I only got this once, now you're telling me I can't even get it again? Game! I only got it once, please! Stop it! Okay. Game! Okay, here we go. No! Come on! Okay. Come on! You can get over there! Come on! 
I just want to get that E tank. Let me put my hand down. Thank you. It's what I wanted, but I didn't want to fall back down, but you've given me no choice. Ah, oh, jeez. Bane of my existence. Bouncy balls. Seriously! Bouncy balls. Bollocks! Bouncy bollocks! Just say it like that. Ugh. Game. Seriously? Oh, come on! Man, we're, we could be here forever. Ugh. That doesn't help anything. Well, actually, that kind of does. But I'm not sure how much it's going to help us out with trying to get through the rest of this place. Ugh, see? Uh, yep, I just wasted it all. Yep, like I said. It seems like it's an impassable place because of all the bouncy balls. My gosh. Come on, game. Ugh. Come on! Oh, come on! Don't make me have to use an E-Tank! Oh, thank you. What I want to see! No! 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 I jumped! Dang it! I'm gonna get rid of that thing. Thank you. Now I don't have to deal with that anymore. It's so embarrassing. Okay. So that way, if I fall down, that won't even have to happen again. But seriously, I want to go up. I want to go up. I want to go up. Thank you. Good riddance. Good night. No. Thank you. Does this lead me to Dr. Wily's play? No! We gotta fight another one of these guys? While having to deal with this crap? Oh, God. I had no idea that this game would be so cruel to me right now. Curl. Thank you. Okay. Now let's go through here. Man, not bouncy balls, please. I just want to get out of here. Beat the stage and finally go to sleep. What? Oh, come on! You can't be serious. Okay, well, you've given me no choice. Game! Thank you. All right. Well, we will have to go up to try to get it, get up to where the boss is.
Oh no, you're not gonna push me back. Are you kidding me? I hit the ball. I bounced off there. Ugh. Just leave me alone. Ugh. So, just mind numbing. Okay, here we go. But I think that just leads us back down, so I'm not even gonna bother. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, go up, please. Thank you. So, okay, another one of these contraptions. So, we have to go all the way up. Yeah, because we need to go high, high up to get up to that part. Yeah, I love that. Okay. So we do need to climb our way back up. Oh, come on. Okay, so, yep. We're gonna need to, uh, jump down. Because we need to go up that way. But, uh, we need to go up that way. We need to go up that way. There we go. Ugh. Should... Is this the... Okay, yes, we're finally at the end. Even though you don't give me any health back, but I'm I'm not complaining here. Okay, so Impact Man's weapon is good for Bounce Man. And see how well this goes up against him. Because with the impact drill, should do a number. Uh, looks like uh, Bounce Man is going to be uh, taking a lot of damage when we do the uh, double gear system. And uh, looks like that seems to be a recurring theme when it comes to the Robot Masters here. Yeah, rightfully so. Now we're getting somewhere. Or getting somewhere, rather. But yes, finally that Robot Masters completed. And we already took down half of them in the overall game. And now we get the Bounce Weapon. And I assume that there's going to be a middle segment for this game? Or an intermission segment since we already defeated half the Robot Masters, possibly? I think so. Okay, now I'm reminded of the, of the Mega Ball. The Bounce Ball, rather. Yeah, this definitely is reminding me of the Mega Ball, but instead of kicking the ball, you're actually shooting like a... Like a spread gun of some some type, but it can go around all over the place. Hmm. Doctor, is something wrong? The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day 
Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. By giving robots independent thought, they could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed, it's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, a committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought research, Wiley never forgave me, and his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot-headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. If only I'd shown him there was a way to work together instead of just telling him that he was wrong. Maybe we'd still be friends. A way to work together. Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. Oh, I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. He's all ready to head out with you. Rush! Rush, help Mega Man and keep him safe. Be a good boy now. We've got this, Rush. <laughs> there's, there's Beat and Eddie. In the background there, while Otto and uh, and Roll are just kind of eavesdropping in on the conversation. Now, explain about Rush Jet. So that was his thing. So uh, basically, Rush transforms into Jet Mode. Right on his back to soar through the stage. Just to adjust your course up and down too. Okay, let's try it out. So uh, Rush Coil. We want to hit the A button. It seems. Yeah, just like that. Huh? Interesting. But you can't uh, go in different directions, so it's pretty much just a straight linear path, I see. Oh, hey, that's cool with how we can switch between the different uh, power-ups on the fly like that. Wow, that now that's awesome. But yeah, that's a good way how rush mode works, but uh, anyways, uh, let's go to Dr. Light's lab. And we got plenty of them that we can use right now. Okay, Mega, what'll it be? Are you sure? Ta -da! Already. Good luck out there, Mega. I gotta say, Erica Lindbeck as uh, as Roll actually makes her sound very good too. Uh, like I said, seems the the voice acting in this game is definitely miles better than that of Mighty Number no. Nine. Mystery Tank. Her feels uh, all energy. It refills your energy and all weapon gauges. Are you sure? Uh, yes, give it to me. Good luck out there, Mega. But we can only carry one, huh? Uh, I guess there would be a limit on some things. And t half damage taken during a stage where you use this item. Yo, Mega. Can I interest you 
That energy balancer automatically recharges the weapon that deletes energy if you picked up the weapon capsule and your current weapon is full. Okay. What's this? Energy dispenser. An item for master players. This reduces your energy gauge, but makes it but makes the ace in the hole double gear technique available immediately. Hmm. Okay. Shock absorber negates the recoil when firing a higher powered mega buster shot. Hmm, that's interesting. Spike boots adds grip enhanced enhancing spikes to your soles on your boots, making you less likely to slip on icy surfaces. Ooh, yeah, that's awesome. And the auto charge chip auto charges the mega buster shooting normally while charging will reset the charge process and buster plus chip increases the mega busters energy output making shots a little bigger so they're more likely to hit enemies. Oh, okay. Uh, probably. Oh yeah, give me that one. Equip that. Get these too. Okay. And we also got some more parts here, too. Mystery Chip, a mystery device that provides a special bonus when you complete a stage in a short time. Uh, Buddy Call Plus, increases the maximum number of Eddie Calls and B Calls you can hold. As well as the Tank Container, increasing the maximum number of Energy Tanks and Weapon Tanks you can hold. Interesting. You know what? I might as well go ahead and get that. Alright. So let's go ahead and save the data right here, because uh, since it's already 9 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it off for the evening. I mean, I made a lot of progress tonight, even though going through some tumultuous playtime in my first playthrough on normal. But then again, this is my first time playing it, so I'm really not that, uh, you know, really not that prone to figure out how to get how this game fully works. So I am going to need a lot of practice before I actually go into this game even further. But uh but for what it is, it's actually pretty good. So, uh, yeah, uh, from what I've experienced, the game itself, uh, definitely really like it, despite my tumultuous feats I had when playing on normal difficulty. But then again, I'm going to need to practice some more before I get on with that mode, so that way I will be far more comfortable with playing in that mode without any problems whatsoever. But, yeah, it's still great, great Mega Man action, and definitely a step in the right direction for bringing about the... Uh, the uh, the blue bomber in a new light so this is definitely the first entry in the post inafune era so it looks like Mega Man is definitely in great hands once more and i definitely like this direction with where capcom is taking it and i really look forward to seeing more entries like this in the future and hopefully with Mega Man x legacy collections one and two if they sell really well then hopefully we will see another Mega Man x game in the future i uh, but hey we can only hope right but anyway, guys, uh, with all that said and done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close off this live stream for tonight. So if you like what you saw, then be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button on, uh, right above the video play or uh, hit that follow button right above the video player. So that way you're notified of whenever I go live with my live streams. And also, if you like uh, my co uh, created content on YouTube, then be sure to follow me on YouTube.com slash double RPG reviews. And you can follow me on Facebook through my Facebook fan page at Facebook.com slash double RPG reviews and my Twitter page at Twitter.com slash double RPG reviews. And you can follow 16-Bit Jeff, Fighter Chaos, and our collab uh, group called The Geek Fighters at either at http colon slash slash uh, twitch.tv slash 16-Bit Jeff, uh, twitch.tv slash Fighter Chaos, and twitch.tv slash The Geek Fighters. So make sure you follow us, uh, or my, follow my friends and our collab page all at once if you can. And also, if you want to get access to our dis to join our Discord server, then scroll but. Uh, scroll down this page from what you see scroll beneath the video player and then you should be able to find the link that will lead you to our discord server so once you click on that discord server link then you should be joining in on our discord server like that anyway guys um tomorrow night we will be getting started with resident evil 2 on the playstation through the ps1 classic on the playstation 3 and we will be playing through the entirety of leon's campaign so we got ourselves another cat Capcom game that we're going to play right there and then when the weekend comes we're going to return back to Trails of Cold Steel 2 and we're going to resume where we left off there so anyway guys I got to get off here for the night and I hope you really enjoyed my live stream from what I played tonight so I, I just want to end off by saying you all have yourselves a very good morning a very good afternoon or mostly a good evening but for the most part you have yourselves a very fantastic day this double RPG signing off by saying Godspeed and Game On Gamers peace out Thank you.